Happy birthday, 1935. We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war thumb. From today, we are at war. From today? I, I, I guess, yeah. How many guys do we have? Haven't uh, seen any trouble just yet. All right, we're all rocking with the Tommy guns. All the guns. Oh, we're all bred up. Howdy, fellas. Hey, it true the Don slipped Carla the bump? Not you? Yeah. Wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Less than Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our businesses. How about people under our protection? Forget about them. <laughs> Forget about them. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. Mm. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. So we kill him. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. Pulling out all the stops, boobs, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay, I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him for fuck's sake. Yeah. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. Okay, and then you just cool man. your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. What a cop sure. roof. But you got a plan for getting back to shore. Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with them there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. Buona fortuna, Tom. Goddamn, Tommy. Get to the docks. Roger Dodge. So there's a councilman, not the mayor. So he doesn't really have that much power, but kind of power halfway through. Alright, we're gonna get our cars. From a taxi man to Tapo. Take this. Easy fits. Delivered earlier this year. This is part of our series looking back over the president's plans and results since his inauguration. Oh, the president. Our responsibility is to all of the people in this country. This is a great national crusade. A crusade to destroy a crusade. false idols, which is an enemy of the human spirit generated by this depression. Oh, that's a great depression. Our attack upon these enemies must be without stint and without discrimination. No sectional, yeah, it no matter. political can't distinction the can be permitted. We need that World it War II going on. However, be recognized. 
And I know you will recognize it. This is 1935. That when an enterprise of this character is extended over more than 3,100 counties throughout the nation. That okay. Find Sammy. Oh, it's a fancy party. Attention, oh, folks, attention. Here. We'll Taste get you all aboard, but smell. we will need to see tickets. How long it's gonna take? Mm -hmm. Just one minute. Also be searched for safety. Thank you, know you know for your patience. How's that, Polly? You know how to drive that thing. You better hope I do. <laughs> What's gonna save your ass <laughs> once Galati's head is popped? Sam's over by the dock buildings figuring out how to get you on board. Roger, roger. You know this whole shindig cost me the finest family in the city. No doubt my mind. Where it is. Sweet, I know. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. Are dressing up as a sailor? I'll go find him. Uh, cigarette cards. There you go. My fine suits. Oh. You know, I'm gonna get the suit back. I feel like I can just buy another. Know you'd get a real job someday. <laughs> so remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Stash sure. In the bathroom. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech. And pop him when he's done. How when do I get done? away? Okay. Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen. Him. You better be there. Better be there. Oh, gonna follow Sam. Okay. Sure. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits you. <laughs> Hello, sir. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. Sorry, sorry. You think he's gonna pull this off? Better sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Ooh! There you go. Screenshot. What sailors do? Hey, you almost done? Uh, yes, boss. Yes. Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. <laughs> Roger. Roger, Roger. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah. Nah. Don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Ask the crew about the janitor. Yo. Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, I had to put money on it. Drunk in the engine room. Uh, it's good to be out. Drunk in the engine room. 
Oh, there's a card right there. Okay. Collectible. Where else do you think the boots come? Hello, boys. Scanning this super science. Alright, engine room is up the back. Ah, you took your time. Yo. Tommy, right? I hid the gun in the jam in the stern. Mid deck. Mid -deck. Where's third? Next floor up. Right above us. Eh, keys on the table there. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I get that. Don't say my name <laughs> in public <laughs> when I'm on a mission. Can I get up here? Misty bathroom. What are you gonna do about it? Oh no. Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. Found ya! Jeez. Who is this guy anyway? Wait, can I. Oh! That's how you clean up a job. Come on. Where the fuck are you? Ew. How many bullets? Only the six. The sixers. That's not enough. point so oh, hello captain Good vantage point. Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have another for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Counselor. You don't see a man up there? Hey, hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Prefer welcome fireworks. To my party, right? <laughs> 618, okay. So, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son Billy left us. An innocent pawn in a deadening gang war. A victim of the deceased that is that the organized crime. started it. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? It's just almost over. Oh. Oh shoot! Now you're done. Oh shoot! I don't know. I forgot it. 
figure out how to crouch or I can't crouch. You are getting into cover. Very Whoa, whoa, whoa! We shoot it through the walls! <clears throat> oh my goodness, this is boss level. Casualties, casualties. Amazing. Out of there. To the complete happy birthday. Easy, easy peasy. You lucky bastardo. Catching up. What do you think I'm trying to do? Oh, this is the brother. What? That is lucky. He's trying to beat the train. We can make it.
How the heck did they survive? <laughs> yes, it could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors <laughs> on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and can tax everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. <laughs> You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. Ooh. It's safe to carry. Yeah, just don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! It's <laughs> 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 a classic kill. Classic Get kill. Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys, Morell is killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. Damn, Tommy's doing all the dirty work. All these top people that he's killing. Wait, he's a perfect snitch. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. He goes with his gun. One thing he's got? From the news desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. It had been hoped by lawmakers and the general public alike that the end of prohibition would cut off the mob's air supply. And a prohibition. But two years since the repeal of the 18th Amendment, it seems to have merely added fuel to the conflagration of crime that engulfs the country. It would appear that removing the conditions that created a new type of virulent gangsterism is not going to remove the problem. No. The criminal empires that amassed such wealth and power in the last decade and a half are simply too powerful, too deep-rooted to simply be swept away. The more established of these organizations yeah, the are, are consolidating with their power. The competition us. between them continues to bring violence and bloodshed into the public square. We saw this in Empire Bay with the Vinci Moretti War that ended in the car bomb killing of mob boss Tommaso Moretti. Gangs such as the Vinci family are now, in many cases, highly sophisticated, well-organized international operations. They owe their success to their brutality and to the many lawmen and legislators in their pockets. Yes, don't allow yourself to be mistaken. The mob may be the instigator, the driving partner, but the corrupt politician or the dirty cop is the facilitator, and both roles must be played for organized crime to flourish. I've heard it mentioned in certain newspapers that the upward trajectory of the economy would quell the mob's opportunities to exploit police and lawmakers. That, sadly, doesn't appear to be the case. Those engaged in corruption are not doing so to put food on the table. City officials and public servants earn more than most, and did so even at the height of the Depression. So that, frankly, does not wash. Plenty of people far worse off live without sin. As we have seen in Lost Heaven, standing up to the mob can be a dangerous game. Suspected mob hits carried out against officials in a number of American cities attest to that. What are our state and federal governments doing to ease public concerns? What can we expect from J. Edgar Hoover and his BOI, now renamed the Federal Bureau of Investigations? Ooh, FBI. Are we truly powerless in the face of such callous disregard? Yeah, that's got to be Sergio's car. How am I going to get through to it? Oh, shh. Going somewhere? No. Can I get in here? Yes. Yes, I can. Ooh. 
Terror Tales. Can't be that easy. Can't be that easy. Yeah, I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Oh, they got a daughter? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, no. Oh, Christ. Hey! Sam and Polly have found him. He's in Georgie's restaurant across town. You need to get over there fast. Oh. Okay. He's not even home. Oh, Tommy killed the wrong person. Oh, shoot. I didn't look sketchy at all. <laughs> what I just did. Admits his men have yet to apprehend any suspects in the brazen public assassination of city councilor Roberto Gilotti. Gilotti was gunned down while giving a speech at his own birthday party aboard the paddle steamer Gone down. Lost like Seven Queen. According to eyewitness reports, the assassin made a daring escape by motorboat, aided by a number of associates all under the cover of a lavish fireworks display. The public nature of the slave. Where is he? Taran, you okay? Yeah, this is a car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. Yo, I need a coat. Spray and pray. Spray and pray! From Mr. Salieri! No! Kill these clowns! Oh, he doesn't. Tommy doesn't want to kill innocent. I'm gonna kill. Like... Get him, get him. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Go get him, Tommy! Come on, let's get back to the car. We gotta catch up before that idiot gets himself killed. Where did Sam get the hat? I swear he wasn't wearing a hat when we entered. Oh, when did I learn about the motorcycle? Jesus. Oh, shoot! Keep up, I'm gonna be dead. Sir, 
Sergio is one lucky bastard. Oh, there they are. Ah, ah. So get it. Got it, fam. Oh no. Can I not shoot? I can't shoot. Ay caramba, ay caramba. Stay back a little bit so I can't get hit. Real life, Tommy would have been dead. I'm going eighty. Oh, my goodness! Oh, I could have launched myself. Uh, Where are you going? Sorry. Well, hey. Sorry. It's like I'm gonna jump all over again. Goodness, when did they have a pistol? Every guy we got down here now. He's oh, we're in their territory, okay. Sam, we want him an army. Oh, I didn't 
the ammo. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go, put you out of your misery. I see him! Lining up a shot! Hey! Hey! Over here! <sighs> oh, fall in. Sammy boy. Five bullets left, okay. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. That's where he is. Common. Oh dear, me. Ah, oh, that was so cool, though. What I did was so cool. Hide someone. Got a sniper, you got a Tommy gun. Come on. Yep. Nope, no ammo. That. Oh.
Snipers. here release the train brakes <coughs> wow okay an explosion Come on, Sergio. You should've been dead. You just winged me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? <sighs> oh! <laughs> Screenshot. you no one can touch me you ain't that lucky bastard wait no <laughs> no way you ran a <laughs> lot fast a lot fast you lucky bastard.